International Launch Services has a very unique place in the market today, and that's largely the benefit of the origins that occurred in the early 1990s. That was the vision of two gentlemen, one Anatoly Kisilov, the former Director General of Kurnichev, and Dan Telep, the Chairman and CEO of Lockheed Corporation at the time. They had a vision of bringing a commercial product into the marketplace, which was the Russian Proton vehicle, and create a competitive alternative to those systems that were available at that time, Arion in particular and several U.S. systems. The relationship between ILS and Kurnichev has developed over the last 15 years to become a very seamless and efficient operation. The ILS relationship with Sirius XM Radio dates back to the late 1990s. We like the professionalism and the vigor of Khrunichev and ILS, and we think this provides the best launch services that can be afforded. This is largely due to the men and women of Khrunichev and ILS and the creation of an organization that is totally aligned. It's a very unified company at this point in time. It has one interest in mind, and that is to successfully and profitably launch commercial launch services using the Proton launch vehicle. In the year 2000, in a five-month period, ILS and Khrunichev launched three of our satellites into a new type of orbit. That was an exciting period of time where a business is being formed, it's forging an innovative uh, idea in the marketplace. There were three launches that were done in five months. Most people thought that was impossible and the people that were involved in it at that point in time to go out to Baikonur and have three successful launches over that summer and fall time frame of 2000. It's just absolutely a phenomenal experience. Sirius FM5 is going to be a tremendous step forward in our service. This will be the fourth satellite that we've launched for Sirius Satellite Radio, and the FM5 satellite is one of the most powerful satellites made today for the commercial marketplace. Uh, it's an SSL Loral 1300 platform. It has the kinds of capability and power that's necessary to fuel this business. They'll provide two important new capabilities. One is higher availability of service to our customer, which means better service, and also a spare in orbit, which will improve the reliability overall. And after having launched the initial constellation in 2000, this is a great honor for us to be asked to launch FM5 satellite. And uh, I've had the opportunity to do this in many roles, including, of course, Sirius. One other role I'd like to mention is the launch of the first commercial communication satellite, which was called Early Bird. It was 1965. I worked for ComSat at that time. But the thing that is the most interesting is to bring this technology to a useful application for people. The hard work and the diligence that has gone into creating a commercial launch business is very difficult to operate, and it's very difficult to run and succeed. Where others have had difficulties, we believe we've created a value-added product for people to use in the marketplace. Thank you for joining us today for the Proton Breeze M launch of the Sirius FM5 satellite for Sirius XM satellite radio. This is the third mission of the year for ILS, the 346th Proton launch overall, and the fourth launch with Sirius satellite radio. We've had the privilege of launching the initial constellation for Sirius in 2000, with three launches in a five-month period of time. Today's launch is nearly nine years after our very first launch of Sirius 1. Operating from its corporate headquarters in New York City's Rockefeller Center, Sirius XM Radio delivers over 130 digital quality radio channels with commercial free music channels, sports, news, talk, entertainment, traffic and weather across the United States. The Sirius FM satellite was built on the Space Systems Loral 1300 platform and will be the fourth Loral satellite in the constellation. Sirius FM5 will be one of the most powerful satellites ever constructed with an X-band uplink and an S-band downlink payload. This will be the 11th Space Systems Loral satellite launched on a Proton. So whether you're watching us on television or via the web in North America or elsewhere around the globe, 
or if you're with our team watching the Proton Live at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Thank you for tuning in to the 52nd ILS Proton launch. Now it's just a few minutes from launch time and I would like to close with this final message for the mission. Go Proton, go Breeze M, go Sirius FM5.